Okay, let's dive in. Think about the very, very start of life, you know, that incredible moment of potential. Mm -hmm. It turns out it's not just some metaphorical spark. Scientists have actually seen a literal flash of light. Yeah, a flash. The instant a human sperm activates an egg, it's pretty mind-blowing stuff. Exactly. And you mentioned this kind of light show. It had been seen in animals before. That's right. But this is really the first time we've uh, witnessed it happen at the point of human conception or activation, technically. Okay. And our discussion today, it really centers on the work from a team at Northwestern University. They're the ones who managed to actually film this. Right. So for a while, we knew it happened in like mice and other animals. Mm -hmm. But the human version was still a bit of a mystery. Precisely. And here's where it gets uh, really interesting, I think. Mm -hmm. Not all these flashes are created equal, are they? Some eggs apparently shine brighter. That difference in brightness is, well, it's a huge piece of this puzzle, and it's really what we're digging into today. Our mission, if you like, is to figure out, you know, why this discovery is so significant, what it tells us about those very first moments of life. And why it matters, right. Okay. Especially for anyone interested in, in uh, health science, maybe fertility treatments like IVF. Exactly that. So the big headline here is, this literal flash isn't just cool biology, though it is very cool. Definitely cool. It's potentially a game changer for IVF. It could offer this uh, visual, non-invasive way to see how viable an embryo might be. Okay, so let's talk more about the spark itself. It's a genuine bolt of light, not just, you know, scientific language. No, it's literal light. And um, this wasn't totally out of the blue for the Northwestern team. They'd seen something similar before. Really? Yeah. Back in 2011, they made a discovery in mice. They identified these sparks of zinc right at fertilization. Ah, I think I remember reading about that. Zinc starks. So how did they go from zinc in mice to actually like filming light in a human egg? Well, it was a really clever progression in their research. By 2014, they'd figured out how to actually film the zinc release in mouse eggs. Okay. And that showed billions, billions of zinc atoms being released the moment the sperm entered. Billions. Wow. Yeah. So the real breakthrough we're talking about today is managing to capture that same event, that zinc release, in a human egg right at the moment of activation. That must have just been incredible to see for the first time. Mm. I read that. Teresa Woodruff, one of the scientists, she called it remarkable mm -hmm. and said uh, to see the zinc radiate out in a burst from each human egg was breathtaking. You can only imagine. Absolutely breathtaking. And that brings us right to the zinc. You know, it's vital role. The light we see is directly because the egg is releasing the zinc atoms. How do they track that? How could they see the zinc? They used a, um, a special fluorescent sensor, basically a dye that lights up when it binds with zinc hmm. that let them watch where the zinc went in the live egg. Clever. And what did they learn about the zinc itself? Like how much is in there? Quite a bit, actually. They found that human eggs have something like 8,000 little compartments. Yeah, and each one holds about a million zinc atoms. So these tiny fireworks, as they called them. Nice description. They last for about two hours after the egg gets activated. And crucially, this isn't just for show. Zinc is playing a really active role in the egg's big decision. The decision being whether or not to start developing into an embryo. Exactly. That very first critical step. So it's fundamental. Totally fundamental. Thomas O'Halloran, another team member, he pointed out back in 2014, based on the mouse work, that the egg needs to stockpile zinc and then release some of it to develop successfully. Right. This new human research just really hammers home how important that release process is. Okay, so we've got the zinc, the flash of light it causes. Uh -huh. But you said earlier some eggs shine brighter. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? Why the difference? And that is where the potential for real-world application, you know, really comes into focus. The team found a direct link. A link between. Between the brightness of that flash and the egg's actual ability, its potential, to develop into a healthy embryo. Wait, really? So a brighter spark means it's more likely to be a viable, healthy embryo. That's what the findings suggest. More zinc released equals a brighter flash, which correlates with a more viable egg. It's a surprisingly direct visual signal. That's, wow, that seems incredibly significant, especially as you mentioned for IVF. Oh, absolutely. It could have a huge impact for couples going through IVF. You know, it's such a tough journey, emotionally, physically. Yeah. And... The sources we looked at mentioned that around half, about 50% of fertilized eggs sadly don't develop properly. Often it's down to genetic issues or other problems. 50% is a really high number. Right. And right now, how do doctors even choose 
which fertilized egg, which embryo to transfer? How do they know which one has the best shot? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And a major challenge. Eve Feinberg, she's a fertility specialist, also involved in this research. Okay. She really emphasized that right now there aren't really any standard non-invasive ways to truly gauge the quality of an egg before you try to implant it. So it's kind of a waiting game. You only find right. out if it worked afterwards. Often, yes. You assess morphology, how it looks, its development rate, but assessing that inherent quality is the tricky part. So this uncertainty around egg quality, it's been a major hurdle in IVF for years. Which must be incredibly difficult for the people going through it, cycle after cycle sometimes. It's incredibly taxing. But this discovery, the zinc spark, it offers a potential new path. How so? By giving them potentially this non-invasive, easily visible way to assess the egg's health before implantation, well, doctors might be able to pick the embryo with the best chance. Right. Pick the brightest spark, essentially. Kind of. It could lead to, you know, more efficient treatments, maybe getting pregnant faster, and hopefully reducing some of that huge emotional toll that comes with failed cycles. So instead of just looking at how it divides, they might have this literal light intensity reading mm -hmm. to guide them. That feels like a really fundamental shift. It really does. Now, just a quick note on how they actually did the experiment, because it was quite clever. Because of regulations, they couldn't actually use sperm to fertilize the human eggs for this specific research. Right. You mentioned that. So how did they kickstart the process? How did they get the spark without sperm? They used an enzyme one that's normally found in sperm, they used it to artificially activate the egg. Oh, okay, so mimicking the first step. Exactly. And that activation sets off this whole chain reaction inside the egg. First, calcium levels shoot up. Calcium? I thought it was zinc. It is, but the calcium surge comes first. That rise in calcium is the trigger that tells the egg, okay, release the zinc. Got it. Calcium triggers zinc release, and that's what makes the light. That's the moment. As uh, Sarah Napton explained it in the Telegraph, when that zinc floods out, it binds to these small molecules already in the egg. Okay. And that binding action makes those molecules fluoresce, give off light. And that's the burst that their very sensitive camera microscopes could capture. It's amazing that whole cascade, calcium, zinc, fluorescence, mm. all leading to a visible signal about the egg's potential. It really is. And what also struck me was just how fast this research moved. You said they saw zinc sparks in mice in 2011. That's right. And they were observing it, filming it, in human eggs just five years later. Mm. That seems rapid for this kind of science. It is remarkably rapid, yeah. Especially when you think how often promising results in animal studies, well, they just don't translate well to humans or they can't be replicated reliably. True. That happens a lot. So the fact that this team bridged that gap from mouse to human observation relatively quickly, it really speaks to how focused their work was and maybe how fundamental the zinc process is across species. So, okay, as we wrap this up, hmm. what's the main takeaway here, the big message from this deep dive into the conception spark? I think the core insight really is that scientists have given us this incredible new window. For the first time, we're seeing a visual marker at the very, very start of potential human life. Mm -hmm. And this flash of light driven by zinc, it's not just biologically fascinating, it actually holds vital clues about the egg's health, its quality, its potential to become viable. And the implications for improving IVF, they seem really significant. Yeah. It offers this glimpse maybe into a future where those treatments could be more targeted, more informed. And hopefully, yeah, more successful for more people. It definitely opens up some exciting possibilities for improving fertility treatments. Yeah. It gives a lot of hope. Absolutely. And it leaves you with something to think about, doesn't it? You know, consider these incredibly tiny fundamental things happening right at the beginning of life. Right. Knowing that our technology is now revealing not just their intricate beauty, but also information that could really change human health outcomes. What well, makes you wonder what other processes, maybe things we currently think of as invisible, are happening inside us that hold similar secrets? What else is waiting to be discovered? Thanks for listening. To support our efforts, kindly subscribe to Biology Career Insights podcast on YouTube, Spotify, Apple and Amazon Music.